Do you want to know how to use ready-made images safely on Amazon KDP? Take a look at this video. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And I especially talk a lot about making money online through publishing low content books on Amazon KDP. One of the things that comes up quite a lot when people ask me questions is what do we do with ready-made images? Do we have to modify them and how do we modify them? And a lot of people also get emails from Amazon saying that the content they have provided is freely available on the internet and they get their books put back in draft or even blocked. So what can we do about that? What happens when we buy a ready-made image from Creative Fabrica, for example, and somebody else buys the same image and we're ending up with the same kind of book on Amazon. So in this video, I just quickly want to show you how to avoid all that, how to use your ready-made images or interiors in a way that it doesn't cause any problems for you with Amazon KDP. So let's hop onto my screen share and I'll tell you more about it. So how can we avoid getting emails from Amazon that tell us that our content is freely available on the internet? And they're basically telling us that they want us to produce unique content. And you can see why that can happen when we're all using Canva, we're all using Creative Fabrica, we're all using the same kind of resources or web pages to get our graphics from. So it's no wonder that we can end up with interiors or with designs that somebody else has as well. The way to avoid this is to create unique designs. And the way to do that, and I've spoken about this in previous videos, is you need to combine images. So even the Canva licenses and even the Creative Fabrica licenses, they all tell you to do that. They say, combine the images with other elements. So for example, if I go on Canva and I want to create a cover or an image of some kind and say I click on photos and I see a photo that I really like and I, I'm thinking of using this for my cover maybe, you can't just use this photo as it is. You have to change it. And I don't mean changing the color or anything like that. I mean by changing is you have this image. So if you add something else, then it will be a totally different image. So you can add text, for example, you could add your title. So just by adding a title, maybe this could be a travel notebook. This is just an example. I'm not saying that this is a good niche or anything like that. This is just an example to show you what you can do to make your image unique, to make your design unique. I know this isn't a great design. I'm just showing you the principles of what you need to do. If you have a photograph and you add text and make that into a cover, that is already changing the image. But think about it. Somebody else could have the same image with a different title, but it's still the same image. So really what you want to do is you want to change this even more. In fact, I stay away from photographs. If I take my own photos, then I do use them in my books. But when it comes to ready-made photos, I don't use them so often because it's more difficult to change them. You could, for example, add an element. So if we click on element, and this is kind of like a a traveling or a flying theme. So let's say we add helicopter just as an example and I place this here. Again, it's, it's an example. It's not a great cover or anything like that. But what this means is that we have changed this image even more. Somebody else might have this same picture, but they won't have the helicopter on there. So for Amazon and for Canva, that constitutes changing the image. You have to add elements or combine your images so that they become completely different. You don't want to have the same image as somebody else. And of course, it's very easy for that to happen if we are all using Canva, if we are all using Creative Fabrica. So the best way to use Canva for your images is if you don't use photos, you can use photos, but then make sure that your end image 
looks completely different to the photo as it is on Canva. It needs to be different. So the other way to do this, and you can do this by combining different elements. If we go on elements and we type in travel, so we could give this a background and then just add images that are to do with travel. So we could have this plane, we could have a map. Of course, this isn't a fantastic design. Um, you would have to, you know, design this a little bit better. I'm just explaining the principle of what you need to do. And what you need to do is you need to combine images. Nobody else will have this cover because nobody else will use exactly the same elements that you have used. So for that reason, the more you use elements on your covers or on your interiors, the better because, you know, it's taking away the risk of somebody else having the same design as you. So nobody else will have this travel notebook cover if, if that's what you wanted to make. So that is one way of doing it on Canva. But what about if you're going to Creative Fabrica? Now, I love Creative Fabrica and I love Canva. Both of those tools are what I use the most in my business. Canva, because it's so easy to design anything. I'm not very good with Photoshop or with Affinity because I never learned to use those. So Canva for me, for somebody who has never used uh a design program, it was very easy and intuitive to get started. And I try to learn as much as I can about it because there are many things that you can do on Canva that people think are impossible to do on Canva, but you can actually do them. So you can produce some really, really good designs on Canva. And that is why it's one of the tools that I use the most. And I combine it very well with Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is a website where you can find so many things. You can get fonts. I'm a little bit addicted to buying fonts because I always see some fonts that I really like. And fonts are important when it comes to your book cover design and also your interiors. You can buy ready-made graphics. So I really like using illustrations and patterns, especially, especially for book covers. Patterns are a really good alternative to, to any other kind of design. And they do have other things like for people who like to do crafts and embroidery. They've even got tools. So there are some really good tools here that I did go over in previous videos, for example, the font cloud and the shape cloud. I made some videos on how to use them and I find them very interesting. You can buy bundles as well. You can buy print on demand items if that's what you're doing. And the other thing they've added, and it's really interesting, is classes. And in fact, Creative Fabrica asked me if I wanted to create some classes for them. And uh, I might do that. I'm not quite sure because at the moment I just haven't had the time. And I really want to concentrate on making more books this year. So if I find any time, then I will probably do that and show people how to make low content books with Creative Fabrica. So what do we normally use when we go on Creative Fabrica? Like I said, we use the fonts, we use graphics, but the other very important thing is the KDP interiors. And I know people like to use ready-made interiors and that's great as long as it's a, a lined notebook or for example a graph paper book those kind of interiors are the same a lined notebook is a lined notebook and you can add little things to it like little images to make it unique but you don't have a problem necessarily with lined notebooks on Amazon because Amazon knows that a lined notebook is the same interior for everybody. So that's not a problem to make lined notebooks. The problem comes when we're buying interiors, for example, like this one, that are already made and they are unique, like a self-care, mindfulness, positivity, journal. You know, if you buy this interior and then... 50 other people buy the same interior. Amazon doesn't like that because you end up with the same book just with different covers. And that's not a good idea because a customer might buy one of them and then they want to buy a different mindfulness journal. They buy another one because they saw that it has a different cover and they expect it to be different. And it turns out that it's the same interior. So that's not a good customer experience. 
and that's why Amazon doesn't like you having the same interiors as somebody else. So does that mean we can't use these interiors? Well, not necessarily. You could use them as long as you change them. And how can you do that? Well, I always look to see what file types they provide. So if we click on this one, for example, this actually looks really nice. I like the design of this. And I always look to see what kind of files are they providing? Can I, can I alter them? Can I modify them? So it tells me a little bit about them here. And it says that they're ready to upload PDFs. So the file type is a PDF. And uh, can I use them? So I would say that you could still buy this, but then you have to make the interior different. So the way to do that is you could add different pages. Maybe you want to add an inspirational quote on every other page, or maybe you want to add coloring in pages for adults. You know, you could change this to make the interior different. The other thing that you can do on Canva now is you can actually upload PDFs and modify them. So that is another thing that you can do on Canva. I'll quickly show you how you could do that. You go onto your home page, you click on create a design and then you click import file and then basically you can click on a PDF and upload it onto Canva. So now you can see it has uploaded this PDF onto Canva. But if you look, you can also change the fonts and it's completely broken down the PDF into different elements. So you can make lots of changes. So as, as long as you change the font, maybe even change the wording, change as much as you can add some elements, add some graphics, just make this look completely different to what it is. But you can still use this as an idea or as inspiration or as a template. It's like a template that you can then put your own stamp on, that you can do your own design and put your own style onto your designs. You can still absolutely use these ready-made interiors, but you just have to make sure that you change them so that they look completely different. And the other way to change them would be to find a different file type, like this one was a PDF. You could actually convert the PDF into a PNG or a JPEG file, because then you can upload them to Canva and make some changes there by adding some elements or blocking things out. It's a little bit more fiddly, but you could do it like that. The easiest way would be just to find those file types on Creative Fabrica in the first place. So if anybody has uploaded interiors as a JPEG or as a PNG, then you know you can upload them onto Canva and then you can modify the images that way. The other thing is uploading the PDFs onto Canva only works in Canva Pro at the moment. I don't think that can be done on the free version at the moment. And you've got so much to choose from. You can combine different interiors. So if you look at coloring books, you can combine different interiors from different coloring books. Of course, you have to make sure that they are the same kind of drawings, the same style, and that they are in the same niche. But you could do that, and that would make your coloring book interior different. If you do want to make coloring books, Please know it is a very competitive niche and you have to niche down and find some unique um, selling point for your books because they are very competitive niches. The other thing that I use a lot from Creative Fabrica are the images. So, for example, you can go on to illustrations and you get so many beautiful illustrations. You know, now that Easter will be coming up soon, there is a spring Easter watercolor art collection. There is so much. And again, like I said, what you need to do is you need to combine these. Let's click on this honeybee clip art, for example. This is really sweet and beautiful. You could use these in your books. You can even just put one of the little bees on each page and have a gardening journal, for example, but use the different bees to decorate your interior. And all you would have to do then is to make them grayscale so that they print in black and white. Or you could make full color books. You know, if you figure out the pricing for your books so that the full color version isn't too expensive and you do that by calculating how many pages, the more pages you have in your book, 
the more expensive it becomes to print in color but i noticed that anything under 40 pages is really reasonable so if you can create a book that's not much over 40 pages your price point can still be very competitive or you have to raise your price for your book which is totally possible to do so you can see there are lots of little images that you can use i love them i love looking on creative fabrica and i know that recently people have complained because there is a lot of spamming going on on creative fabrica but i've noticed that things have improved and i don't feel that that is the case anymore i i look at these things and i get so many ideas just you know just looking at the at the pictures there are really good ones here for maybe baby journals where parents can record their baby's progress you could have uh, easter themed books you could have a gardening planner and uh, decorate it with all these lovely gardening type images there are some more here we we know that flowers sell you can make floral covers and they are very attractive so even just looking at these i can find lots of ideas for books that i could create and i just think that it's definitely worth subscribing to creative fabrica and they've got a, a deal at the moment which i will tell you about a bit, a bit later and uh, you can also buy them i've i've got the subscription so i can download as many things as i like but you could also buy individual designs the thing i really like about the subscription and some people say well what happens when you cancel the subscription do you have to unpublish your books no you don't have to unpublish anything whatever you create while you have the subscription you can keep but when you cancel your subscription what that means is that you can't create any more books with the things that you have already downloaded because otherwise we would all subscribe to creative fabrica download everything and then just cancel and use everything we downloaded so creative fabrica obviously don't want us to do that so you would have to stop publishing once you have stopped the subscription but of course you can still keep the books that you made while you were subscribed to creative fabrica so i hope you found that useful i hope that now you know how to use your interiors in a way that it doesn't cause problems for you and i still think that ready-made interiors can be used to create your books but you just have to change them significantly so that they don't look like the ready-made interior that you bought in the first place or you can add things or you can swap pages and uh, add additional pages from another interior those are the ways that you can avoid getting into trouble with amazon and uh, i use creative fabrica canva a lot and i've never had any problems because i do modify the images significantly creative fabrica also have a really good deal at the moment so for the subscription the first month is only one dollar at the moment and then it renews at $19. Normally Creative Fabrica is $29 for the subscription per month but now you can get it for $1 for the first month and then just $19. I love the subscription because I do use it a lot. I, I use it for my children's books, I use it for my low content books, I use it quite a lot for my social media as well and uh, graphics for my book promotions and my A plus content. So there is a lot that you can do with Creative Fabrica and with Canva. Those are the main tools that I use for my business and uh, I find that they they really help me creating really good content. And I will leave a link to the promotion underneath this video in case you're interested. Let me know how you find using Creative Fabrica and Canva. Does it help you? Do you use an alternative? It would be good to know your experience on that. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you again next time. Bye bye.